I'm Dave Franzen, the NDSU Extension Soil Specialist, and we're here out in a little bit of a soybean study. We're in about the middle of June, and this year it's the beginning of iron deficiency chlorosis, or IDC. See, there's lots and lots of iron in the soil. I mean, several percent of the soil is iron minerals. So it's not that there isn't that in the soil, it's just that the soil conditions are not conducive to supply the soybean with, with iron. The You'll never see IDC in, in fields or areas of fields that have pHs less than seven, but you'll often see IDC in fields that have pHs above seven. And the free carbonates, uh, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, the higher those are in the soil, the more IDC that you'll get. And the, when you have moisture, you might have a dry field and it looks great and then all of a sudden you get a rain and it turns yellow and that's because it's dissolved the carbonate and the dissolved carbonate neutralizes the acid around the root and makes the plant susceptible for IDC. The other thing that increases IDC related to what's going on in the soil is the soil nitrate content. If you have soil nitrate in the top six inches above, say, um, we don't have a firm number, but I would say that I'd start to get a little bit nervous if we had surface nitrates up above 50 pounds in a fall or a spring sampling. One of the things, well, the thing, the thing that makes IDC, IDC way more harmful up here in the Northern Plains than it is, say, in Iowa, is the presence of salts as a stress. Salts doesn't cause the IDC, but it piles on the carbonates uh, and is really stressful on the soybeans. Uh, in Iowa, they hardly have any salts at all, uh, but here, almost every field has salts, and, and that's a huge problem. So, so that's part of field selection, is looking at what your salt level is, and then the other thing is, is that getting rid of the salts through variety practices, including tile, if it's practical, uh, would help to, to decrease the IDC risk over time.